The decision of the ruling All Progressive Congress to pick a Muslim running mate for its presidential aspirant has continued to generate reactions from Nigerians. Amid the political tension in the country, the Kaduna State Secretary of the Opposition People's Democratic Party has described the selection of the former governor of Borno State as running mate to Bola Ame Tunubu as a clear act of relegating a larger population of Christians in the country. Ibrahim Musunu, who made this known in Kaduna, noted that the APC's Muslim Muslim ticket in Kaduna State have largely restricted Muslims from practicing their religions more than ever before. It was during this Muslim Muslim ticket, our people that are doing reciting the Quranic recitation were being denied by the government of Muslim Muslim ticket. During this Muslim Muslim ticket, it was that time that since the inception of Islam into Nigeria or into Africa, there was no time that people doesn't go to the most uh, Jumat prayer, Jumat mosque, three times. But during this Muslim Muslim ticket, up to 13, for, for two weeks, Muslims did not go to their, uh, to perform their uh, Friday prayers. Like, uh, like also Christians didn't go to their churches in this Muslim Muslim ticket. And with the Muslim Muslim ticket, when they are destroying the stalls or the shops of marketers, it, do they selected the uh, stalls of Christian and dissolve, and, and dissolve it and destroy it? No, destroy even the Muslim and the Christian, all the, everybody being affected. According to him, a Muslim Muslim ticket is never an option in a country like Nigeria with a vast population of Muslims and Christians in different parts of the country. Therefore, every region, tribe and religion must be fully represented in the country's leadership so as to address challenges facing every part of the country. Everybody needs to have sense of belonging. It is like we talk about we are talking about leadership. And leadership needs representation. Representation in all angles. The religion needs representation, tribes need representation. That is why we have state, we have a federal, we have national and local government level. So everybody needs to have representation in the in terms of leadership appears. For example, when you want to take a decision that a particular Christian, will you take a decision of Christian without a member of Christianity? It's, it's not possible or it's not fair. Similarly, when you, take, you want to take a decision for a Muslim without somebody who is being a Muslim, can, do you think you will be fair to him? It's not possible. So the best thing, not even in politics, in Nigerian perception, is to have equal right or equal opportunity or to give everybody chances to be part of the decision making in any Act or any governors. Mr. Wusunu further believed PDP will revisit most of policies of the current administration that are detrimental to citizens of Kaduna and Nigerian at large. When we came back, those that were being sacked in Kaduna State, I'm assuring people that they will bring them back. Those that are at the age of retirement, their benefit will be settled. This is our competence and will bring back peace in Nigeria and in Kaduna State in particular. Furthermore, he urged Nigerians to enroll and collect their PVC so as to vote credible leaders in the forthcoming general elections in the country. My appeal to Nigerians to go and register and obtain their voters' cards. You cannot change government with, far, with any power without PVC, that is permanent voters' card. Everybody should go. You can uh, obtain his PVC. With PVC, you can change government. Without PVC, you cannot change government.